What are you doing? <laughs> Jess and I started going on camping trips together over 10 years ago. We started small with some nearby car camping trips, then eventually graduated to the backcountry and some other interesting adventures. In 2017, we camped out of a van in Iceland for a couple weeks. That was unbelievable. But since Irie was born, we've taken a couple summers off. That is, until now. We think it's about time we initiate this little one. Irie's very first camping trip. The whole shebang. Sleeping in a tent, making s'mores, stories around the fire, all that good stuff. Guess I should make sure the tent still stands. Did you have sweet dreams? The only thing missing now is a destination. This is a walk. Oh, did they say it was a drive-in or a walk-in? All right, so just pulled up to our site, Bundy National Park. First time here at the park, and um, usually, well, I say usually, but Jess and I haven't been camping in a few years now, since little Miss Irie Mae was born. There was even a, a period of a couple years before she was born where we didn't go camping. Usually we do, at least a couple times per summer. But we were living in Toronto, and when we were home, from Europe, living in Toronto during the summer, right downtown. We never wanted to leave the city. That was part of the reason that we, we didn't go camping. So, since we're living here in New Brunswick, you know, part of the reason we moved out here is for the outdoors and we've heard nothing but great things of, of Fundy National Park. So here we are. We're gonna check it out. It's just a quick two-nighter. Test the waters with, uh, with the little one, see how she likes camping. And, just enjoy some old-fashioned exploration and family time. Comfy, how does it feel? How's their sleep set up? You gonna be able to sleep in there? Hope so. Think you're gonna wake up early? Think you're gonna go to sleep at your normal bedtime? All right, fire started. Yep, still light out, but you know what? This is what you do when you got kids. You start the fire earlier than you do normally because she's probably gonna be out like a light once the sun goes away for the night. What was it? Uh, we're having lentil stew with baguette. <laughs> oh, yes! It's a baguette. Totally forgot. You know how to hook that up? Looks like you do. <laughs> yeah, figuring it out. Bye! It's your very first camping trip, Irie. Yay! So good. So good. Nice. There's mine, looking good. 
and little Miss Irie with her new camp chair and her dinner table. <laughs> I feel the heat coming off of the fire. That's nice. Big, big fire. Oh, what is that for? Loose thin marshmallows. <laughs> what are we going to make? S'mores! <laughs> yeah, s'mores! And then chocolate! And then marshmallows! Oh, you're going to love it. And... <laughs> <laughs> Running around the campsite just screaming right now. I just went uh, down the road there on my bike to get more firewood because we're already seeing that we're going through it pretty fast. Kind of what happens when you start the fire early. But um, yeah, I could hear her screaming from way down the road. She's so fired up, it's hilarious. So you break these in half, now there's two. And then we take the marshmallow. And we take this chocolate. This reminds me of the scene in The Sandlot. Okay, this, this is the debate. This is the ultimate question that needs to be answered right now. What is the ideal marshmallow type? Is it like what Jess has going on here, which is, in my opinion, the best version? That, it's like a nice little golden brown, not too, not too burnt, but just a little bit for flavor. Or are you guys the type to just shove it in there it lights on fire, it's black, but it's melted inside. Or are you on the other side of that where you like just a little bit of a crisp on the outside, just barely golden brown, just, just, a, little, just, just a little warmth on it. Where do you guys lie? Let us know. Mm, well, not too bad. Irie, it's your very first s'more. You ready for that? It's bigger than you. Is it hot, you think, inside? Mm. Okay, take a big bite, Ivy. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Good! <laughs> and that is day one in the bag, folks. If you like this video and you want to see how the rest of our trip went, be sure to like and subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.